Hi everybody. Welcome back to my channel. <laughs> and me. <laughs> Welcome back. If you're new here, my name is Stacy. Thanks for coming by. Today we are finishing this up. I only have uh, one color it looks like left. Now I have to be honest with you. Obviously you guys know I haven't been here in a month or two and um, it's because I had quit my old job and started a new job. Uh, this new job is in a grocery store uh, and um, I'm in, I, I'm working in the bakery and the hours are crazy. So I have only had um, a few hours in the last couple of months to diamond paint or craft in general. And um, so I did work on this, you know, obviously, because I think the last time that I recorded, you know, we had quite a bit up here that needed to be done. And um, <clears throat> so, you know, here and there for like a half hour or something like that, I wound up working on this to get it finished. And so... I really haven't had a lot of time to diamond paint and when I have had time to diamond paint I've been so tired that I haven't um, had the energy to record so I you know life is life <laughs> life is life but um, I do miss recording I do miss being here with you guys um, I'm hoping um, so I got, I got hired on for part time. However, the, um, bakery, um, they, they had two people out for, um, surgeries and that's why they were hiring, um, two people to kind of cover those hours until these people came back from their, um, surgeries. So the end of the month, the, one of them came back already, but the, the end of the month, the other one's going to come back, which means my hours will be reduced. I've been working like, you know, full weeks. And um, so my hours will be reduced, so I will be able to record um, more. I'll have more time. However, until I am sure that uh, I have full attention to record. I think I'm only going to do one video a week. So, um, you know, you guys haven't missed much as far as um, where I am with my projects. So this one here, this video will be the completion of this one. Um, the Berlin one, I haven't touched that. So we are still where we left off on that one. Um, and you know, I, I, I really want to make sure that um, I can give you guys my full attention when I record. That way I'm not like, I don't know, super scatterbrained or whatever. You know what I'm saying? So um, <clears throat> I'm not going to zoom in. Um, I think everything that we have over here is pretty much on this side. So I'm not going to zoom in too much because it will take away the the entire picture. I don't have a lot of room on my desk. I'm, you know, as always, I don't have a lot of room on my desk. So we are going to finish this one up. Let me grab the color. We just have this brown color left. Um, unless I missed... Um, some spots but I don't think I have so we're gonna work on this one and try to get this finished today so we can enjoy the completion of this and I do need to change my um, putty because it's been probably a week or more since I've touched this so I need to get 
new putty in here. And my my husband's so cute. He's like, are you going to record? I'll put my headphones on. I'm like, it doesn't matter. <laughs> he doesn't need to wear the headphones when I record, but it's very sweet of him to um, offer so that, you know, there's not a lot of noise going on, but I honestly, it really doesn't matter. I want him to be able to enjoy his time off too, you know, so, but yeah, so this one is coming along really well. I'm, I'm very happy with it. It's going to go up on, um, my wall in my, uh, kitchen dining room area because the wall in there is, uh, painted like a soft green. And I think it's going to look really well, look, look really good hanging on the wall in there. I don't know how I'm going to frame it or hang it yet, but, um, it will, you know, like I said, it's going to look really, really good. Oops, that didn't even come off. And, um, but yeah, so, um, I've been working a lot, you know, my last job, which was as a caregiver, I had to leave that job because it was so toxic and they had raised the prices for the residents there, but they did not increase the care. They did not, um, they, they were not in the mindset of um, giving the residents there the full, um, attention that they deserved and the management. So that company, um, has a lot of, you know, it's like a umbrella company and then they have their um, facilities under that, right? And each facility has, you know, their own management. And so the management for the facility that I was at <clears throat> were more concerned with drama, to put it lightly. Um, you had upper management who would bad mouth their own employees in front of um, resident families and um, it was just a very vicious place to work um, and for some reason they didn't think there was anything wrong with that so um, I just I couldn't deal with that any longer it was it was really really toxic it was really bad and I feel horrible for all of the residents that live there and their families because clearly the facility management does not care one bit about the residents at all they don't they don't care and that's horrible because if you are in the business of taking care of <clears throat> people who no longer can take care of themselves, your first priority, your only priority is to make sure that the living environment for those people is the best that it can be, right? And when you're more focused on the gossip side of life and the, um, the importance of yourself, um, it's, it's not good. And 
for some reason, they did not see it as a negative. They saw it as that they were the be all end all and that they were doing nothing wrong. And I can't, I couldn't be a part of that any, any longer. So I, when I stopped posting videos was when I was, you know, going on interviews and I was doing all this other stuff to try and find a different job because I couldn't, I just could not stay there any longer. <clears throat> So I found, you know, obviously another job um, in a grocery store. I have grocery store experience a um, long time ago, which was nice because um, they gave me a little bit extra per hour based on my experience, which is nice. And um, so I've been there now for... Um, how long have I been there? Um, since the end of March, I guess. Right? We're in May. So, the end of March, <clears throat> I've been there. And I really love the job. It's very fun. Um, the hours are way different. So, I am still trying to adjust to the hours that I need. So like when I was um, when I was doing caregiving, I was um, overnight three night three nights a week. This job is not overnight. So most of the time I am doing um, like I'm um, preparing the donuts. I'm not baking the donuts. Um, but I am like doing like icing them and getting them out for the customers and stuff like that. And so I'm doing most of the time I'm doing that. Um, I do um, close sometimes, but um, most of the time I'm working the early shift. And the early shift is 3 a.m. start time. So 3 a.m. to 11.30 a.m which is really nice, but it's exhausting when, um, you know, you're not used to that schedule. So like trying to get my sleep schedule, um, together is, <laughs> is a little difficult, but you know, I'm, I'm working it. I'm getting there. Um, we, uh, where did that one go? I thought I picked it up and I guess it dropped. Um, so yeah, so I'm having a lot of fun with that. I really like doing that. Um, it's, it's really fun. Uh, the people there are nice for the most part. You know, obviously in every job there's one or two who, you know, think they're in, you know, the bee's knees and want to do things their own way and don't listen to the way it's supposed to be or whatever, you know, but I mean, like I said, that's, that's in every job, but it's not so it's, you know, not as toxic as, um, the caregiving job and, you know, you don't have people's lives at stake. So it's, it's a whole different, um, level of uh, responsibility on the whole, you know? So it's, it's tiring, but it's less stressful, if that makes sense. So I'm having fun with it. Um, I'm still learning um, a lot of it. It's weird how they determine um, what stock goes on the shelves and stuff like that. So, you know, for, for the customers to buy, because it seems like, 
it, it seems like, you know, obviously it's sales based, but it seems like it's more um, geared towards metrics than um, customer desirability. So that's interesting um, because I would have thought it would have been more of um, more of what customers wanted rather than just pushing a certain item because, you know, we have it, you know? So that's interesting. Um, <coughs> excuse me. I'm going to get a drink of my coffee here. I think I, I think I look at things kind of in a, a different way um, than some people who work um, in these type of jobs. And I think it's because I was a supervisor for so long. You get, when you, when you become a supervisor or a leader um, in a company, which... I did, you know, for years in one of the other companies I was in. I think you, you tend to look at um, things a little bit differently. Because when I look at things, I'm looking at, at um, efficiency and um, I'm looking at, you know, number factors. You know, um, whereas I feel like most people who get jobs like that, like if you're in retail or something like that and you're basically like <clears throat> a cashier or a stocker or something like that, you, you tend to just, you know, pull what the, the computer tells you to pull and you stock it or, you know, whatever it may be. And I think that when you have um, the experience um, in management, I think that you start looking at, well, how is this rotating? How is this selling? How is this um, product being perceived by the customer and stuff like that? So I, I th the reason I'm, I'm saying this is because, you know, my manager really likes me a lot, <clears throat> which is good, but I think it's because I see the the more um over overview of of everything you know what i mean i think i i think i'm done i think there's one i think i saw that there was one i missed but where did it go unless i just put one of these on there mm. oh no it's right here it's a different color right here but I think that's it. So, yeah, so, you know, my manager really likes me, which is good. And I think it's because I look at things a little bit differently. But, um, you know, I'm, I'm really, really enjoying it. I'm having fun. Um, I think that it's a good job. Um, it's different because it is a union. So, I've never worked a job where there's a union before. Um, so, that's interesting to me because some of the rules and some of the stuff that they have for the people, for the workers, is very, like, strange to me. Oh, I missed one over here. Missed one right there. That's this one here. Um, but I'm, I, I'm enjoying it. I think it's fun. Um, it, I'm actually kind of bummed that my hours are going to be cut, um, when this other person comes back. But I think that I have opportunity to go work in other areas if needed because they, they still need help in like, um, all different areas of the grocery store. So 
I could probably pick up some hours somewhere else in the in the store. All right, I'm gonna zoom out, guys. Zoom back out. Can't zoom very far, but <laughs> try and take a look at this. So this is. Oops, I'm moving everything on my desk. So this is the Red Eared Slider Diamond Art Club, as you guys know. So here's the top. Looks really, really pretty. So we've got um, up here, up here in this area, we do have our yellow ABs that really, really make the background sparkle. You have some ABs in the red here and the purple of the butterfly, as well as the white over here, which looks really, really pretty. I have a, one of my dog hairs stuck in the canvas here. <laughs> You've got um, some ABs in the flowers over here. Not much, but enough to make it sparkle. You have some white ABs over on these flowers here. And then when you, I'm gonna, I just don't have a lot of room. So when you fold this and you go towards the bottom here. So the only ABs, which I find interesting in the red eared slider itself is you have some white here and you have some red here. Um, there's no other ABs in the in the turtle itself um you have some abs on this uh the spine of the dragonfly here and then you've got more abs down here in these flowers so the majority of your abs are up in the yellow area and the flowers up there because you only have um one two three four ABs, so uh, a purple, uh, a yellow, a red, and a white, and there's there's really not that much. You don't have any red ABs over here, so the only red ABs you have are right here in the turtle. So, yeah, I don't know. I think it looks, I think it looks pretty good. You know, I, I think that it, it turned out pretty good. The fly, the butterfly really pops. I like, I really do like the way the butterfly turned out. I think it looks really pretty. This flower kind of sticks out to me because you've, there, you've got all the purple ones and then this one has a lot of uh, pinks in it. So that stands out. I like the little ladybug up here really really pretty so i don't know how like i said i don't know how i'm gonna frame this i think it might be too small for the one frame that i have but i can possibly um possibly still use that frame so we will see um how i put it up but i really really like it i think it turned out really well um I think this is still available on the Diamond Art Club site, so if you're interested, go pick it up. It was very fun to do. Um, there wasn't a lot of color blocking. There were small areas of color blocking on this, but it wasn't, you know, being around diamond painting, it wasn't very, um, what's the word I'm looking for? It, it didn't, there weren't any sections that bored me, you know, color blocking usually bores me. So there was enough of um, a mix of color blocking and confetti that allowed me to really enjoy doing this um, painting. So I'm, I hope that you guys like this. And, you know, if you guys, you know, came back, I appreciate it. <laughs> And like I said, um, I'm hoping to be able to get one video up a week. It'll probably be on Saturdays when I post. Um, 
but I'm going to try and get at least one up a week until um, I know or have a better um, regular schedule. Don't know how regular it can be in a grocery store because I don't see my schedule. It's a week. It's it's based on week to week. You know, you don't have set days. So we'll see. I'm hoping that I can at least get one video out a week um, and then slowly pick back up to um, I, I really like doing the three videos a week, so I'm, I'm hoping that I can do at least one and then get back up to the three a week for you guys. Okay, so here's this one, Red Eared Slider, Diamond Art Club. Um, next video will be back um, next week. I hope you guys enjoyed this. Thank you guys for coming back and um, sharing this time with me. And yeah. Leave any comments down below that you would like. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit the subscribe button. It does help me out. <laughs> but you guys know that. So, yeah. All right, guys. Thank you so much for joining me for this completion. Um, the review. Uh, good canvas. Good uh, um, artwork. I really like the way that it turned out. So, you know. Give it a shot. If you like turtles, give it a shot. <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much again for joining me, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.